Hi, I'm Nada and this is Revit Tips and Tricks. Today we are going to talk about how to make vertical opening through multiple levels. The most popular reason to use a vertical opening is the stairs. For example, here I have a four levels building with stairs in the middle. Have a look on the 3D and make the inside visible. As you see, the stairs is going in the floors and that's of course not right. So, I'm going to use the vertical opening to make a duct for the stairs. Back to the plan, up in here, you will find the icon called shaft. That's the icon I can use to make vertical opening. Click on it. Now I'm in a drawing mode to sketch the shaft. Before drawing, I have to take a look on the properties. First, the base level of the opening and its level 1 the top level of the opening and I will change it to be level 4 or whatever the height of my opening. I can also use base and top offset if I want the opening to go through specific height not from level to level. I will make the base offset negative 1 meter to see how this will affect the opening. I can use different drawing tools to sketch the opening. In this case the easiest way is to use the rectangle tool like this. Now click on the green right mark to finish the sketch and going out of the drawing mode. If I go to 3D now and lead this wall to see inside, I will find a vertical opening through all levels. But as you see, there is a hole in the first floor. That's because of the negative one base offset I made in the properties. The negative makes the shaft starts lower than level one with the value of one meter. This takes me to how to edit in my shaft. I will select it from here in the 3D and that makes me see clearly the base offset. Or I can go back to any level and select it like this. After selecting, I can edit in the properties, the base and the top level and offset. I will change the base offset to zero and now back to 3D and as you see now the opening starts from level 1 and the hole is disappeared. The last thing to talk about in this video is how to edit the sketch of the shaft. Select the shaft, up in here you will find edit sketch icon. Click on it, this will take you back to the drawing mode again. Now you can edit in the sketch, make it bigger like this, make it smaller, delete it and change the shape like this. Whatever you want to make, you can totally edit in the sketch you have made. After finishing, click on the green right mark to finish and go out of the drawing mode. And as you see, the new sketch is applied here and of course in the 3D. I hope this was useful for you. I hope to see you again. Bye bye.